some data copied, replicated, however you want to look at it. There's um, some cases where it makes perfect sense and that's where the identity bus or hub through subscription model and through a, a flexible model could actually help you do that. There are some other cases where uh, when we talk about virtualization where it makes most sense to say, well, you know, the data is in place A and place B and place C, so that's not, let's not try to first of all grab everything and store it somewhere else, but let's just fetch it on the fly somewhere so that you have, you have your Swiss army knife, you have the synchronization, you can copy the data, you can fetch it on the fly. That's what I mean. Central service. There, there's still a central. In the, in the virtual directory sense, you're still introducing another level of interaction, but you're also in, introducing another administration point, and that has advantages and disadvantages. And another security uh, negotiation point. Sorry. That's okay. I was just going to say that the pessimistic side of me says, you know, the, the, the ISVs and the vendors out there who don't want to subscribe to the New York Times. That, that is, I, I think, part of my concern. I mean, it's not going to prevent me from building things, but if people don't want to jump on to the new plumbing that we're doing, um, that is going to be problematic. It's been problematic for LDAP, it's going to be problematic for Xacomel, it's going to be problematic for SAML, and it's going to be problematic for an identity bus in the long run. And we, we as an industry have to prove that value to, to, to both the end users um, and to the ISPs who are building these products, ERP products, whatever, these products that we need to, we need to get onto this identity bus. Suppose then that the LDAP programmers could write their apps through an LDAP interface and the SQL programmers could write their app through a SQL interface because they're hitting the same thing on the back end, but it's just the language they're talking. Much the way, say, with Active Directory, they came out with ADSI and a lot of people didn't want to use that, so they stuck an LDAP front end on it so that people could go to that way. You know, because it really doesn't matter to the data store what protocol somebody's approaching it with. It's, it's the protocol that, that it extracts data with that makes it that way. Okay, so, um, you know, people in the database world have been trying to build these replicated and distributed databases. And the problem is that the performance characteristics of the distributed side are so different from the performance characteristics of the local side that basically it hasn't worked. Um, you know, those things are, they, they basically turn into sort of replication things. Uh, so, yeah. so, so you know, I, I think what I'm trying to say is, what if we, you know, what if we thought of, if we think claims is the, the magic essence of this thing, and we just say, what if the claims are the essence, not the store, not the tube, not the plumbing, the claims. So now the claims can be, we can, we, we, you know, we should get people to be using these claims no matter what technology they happen to like. And I, I guess that's really exactly. But I think you would agree with that. Claim is just a data packet. It's not a data packet. It's an information packet. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. It, it Say it one a, more time. It, it's, a, it's a good <laughs> point, Kim. <laughs> Can you, uh, can, sorry, you sorry. can you describe the data packet a little? Because we were talking about attribute. Uh, sorry, the information. Sorry, sorry. Uh, can you describe it? Because we were talking uh, earlier about attributes and values. There's obviously some kind of command structure that we need as well. You know, some we need some commands that go down the bus. We need several operations. Yeah, and the operations are different from the claims. And if you, I think if you mix those, it gets really complicated. And if you pull them apart and deal with each of them in a complementary but separate way, then, then it gets easier. So um, describing, so this thing of, 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 you know, like packets and data at, at the data level versus the information level. I mean, I agree with, with, with Dale. Okay, attribute value assertion is the same as a claim. I, it's just we, we say an assertion. A claim is an assertion that's in doubt, and so once we start shooting these these claims all over the place, you don't really know if you should believe it or not. Um, so it's, it's <laughs> but but so to me the, cl the content of the claim is completely elastic. But the idea is you can just sort of staple a bunch of them together, send them around, 
stick them wherever you want. And I guess I, I sort of have come to the conclusion that the directory is more an information system than a storage technology or a protocol. It's, it, it certainly is. And <coughs> if you abstract the storage and the information model, then you're flexible. By the way, even what you said, Jackson, uh, how is this going to be supported for, uh, how are people going to jump on board? Uh, well, think about an application that talks LDAP or you know, that talks uh, SPML or something like that. If you offer that connector, if you offer an LDAP interface into the system or SPML uh, gateway into the system, then everybody is supported from day one. And as soon as they want to extend their software to make better use by plugging directly into the infrastructure, they all win. But even if they don't, they can still use the same system. I actually want to gripe here a little bit about LDAP, uh, because um, I think in, in, I, I wouldn't want people to start seeing LDAP as the entrance into the new system, because I think LDAP has, has caused us some problems. Uh, and, and that's what I was joking earlier about. My, my favorite phrase in this whole conference has been from Dave, that LDAP is the is the COBOL of identity systems, <laughs> which I, I think is just I think is just wonderful. Um, on, on the because on the one hand it's it's very good. It it, it has entries and, cl and and series of attribute value assertions that sound an awful lot like uh, the claims uh, and and these, these packets that we pass around information packets. But on the other hand, people use LDAP as an authentication service. They use it as a connection-based system from this client to this server. And I think instead, if we were to separate it out into the claims and focus on what is the content of the claims and then give programmers the ability to, to make higher level uh, questions, can Joe do this based on these claims as opposed to right now, connect to LDAP, look up this entry, read the telephone number, read the age uh, attribute, and determine whether he's uh, an adult, uh, we need to be moving up to a much higher level in what we provide for programmers to do. And LDAP, in a sense, is, is holding us back right now in some, in some ways. It's cool. I agree with everything you said, Dale. The only thing I'd add there is that if we say, let's do away with LDAP, then the next thing that happens is everyone says, OK, let's use HTTP then. Yeah, no, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't say do away with it. I said move up. Uh, yeah, I mean, you see, I, don't, I, I actually, I, like, I love what Dave says about COBOL and LDAP, but, but I also think LDAP is just a way to express claims. So I don't actually see a problem with, with LDAP. Uh, no, uh, you could argue that I'm saying this because I happen to be associated with a, um, a directory, and so are you, and you were more honest than me. <laughs> but, uh, no, but I think, uh, you know, it's the way it's used that is wrong as opposed to, you know, it's just a way of pulling claims. And somehow it's been fetishized, and that's your point. Um, so that we only pull, we don't push, and the pull and push are two opposite things, and the pullers don't like the pushers, and vice versa. So we got to end all that. How many applications only use it as a password check, right? That they're not even really using it for claims, they're using a, bind, a side effect of the bind operation, and they're really the only thing they care about. That's unfortunate. It still leaves me with, uh, with, with one question. I, I understand um, uh, the, 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 the abstraction, but we still need to have, as you say, we need to have operations that run completely aside from the claims, and most likely operations are going to embed claims into them, and they're going to be running through the system. Uh, is it even uh, a good idea to think about some kind of low-level operations, extensible operations model for a system like this. In the same way as uh, COBOL, uh, LDAP, 